Okay, this is my uh, boat trailer bearing, and uh, um, I finally told the boat home um, by because it's overheated, so I bought the after the fishing trip uh, at Sandy Point State Park. What I did was I just went outside of the state park and went to the Centerville Park. Uh, store and bought two grease caps these are 1.99 1.98 inches it's pretty standard for the boat trader um, so bought these two after I uh, repacked the outer bearing grease because the salt water went into it because I lost the easy bearing and the dust hub when I got to the boat ramp so I you know still decided to launch the boat without uh you know covering but i put a plastic bag around it but it actually uh one side i think this side um the plastic bag actually um slipped off when when this was submerged in the water so um i had so this the salt water actually went into the sparing um so now today i finally have a chance to uh, open it up and uh, rinse out the um, salt water and I'm gonna repack the grease again and hopefully this time um, well not only that I'm also gonna be measuring the spindle because this is the new axle spindle I want to you know take a measurement I think it's uh, the standard uh, 84 spindle which has the inner bearing um, size of one over three eighths and the outer bearing size of one over um, one sixteen inches which is 1.06 inches um, and the inner bearing was one and three eighths which is 1.375 inches so I'm gonna do the measurement I uh, bought the digital caliber and I believe those are uh, the right to correct uh, uh, size bearing um, but uh, I want to take a measurement so to confirm it so anyway so the way to remove this dust cover is very simple you just you know kind of um, kind of uh, do this see that it started to to move oops yeah see that once you get this crack here what you do is you take a you take a Phillips screwdriver and you start to insert into there and you turn the screwdriver um, because the key is so that uh, when you turn the screwdriver this hub will this it will widen the gap between the hub the grease cap and also the act uh, the the wheel hub so this way you can remove you can remove this dust cap and I think it's I'm about it I'm about there and uh, I think the final step is to get my channel lock and then um, you know try to remove this dust cap you know grab it you know and then pull it out so that's the thing I'm gonna do Let me grab the channel lock. Oh, it still doesn't budge. Wanna budge still? I'm gonna continue to do this a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So, here you go. So the dust cap is off. You see, this is uh, Dexter. D e x t e r. Dexter. D e x t e r. Trader. Uh, dust cap. So now I can uh, uh, pull this cutter pin and also remove the castle knot. Should be fairly easy. Um, I do want to get a piece of uh, paper so I can put these parts on top of it before it gets dirty, you know. 
so that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is remove the castle knot. Um, so the first thing I need to do is remove the cutter pin, which I need to straighten this end, and I'll be able to push it out from the other end. Um, as you can see here. Well, what happened? Kind of got these two uh, bent straight, not quite, but you know, it's close enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it out. powder pin is out. I'm just going to turn the castle knot. So it's locked tight so I'm going to just use the, the channel plier. Oh, I'm not sure why it's so tight. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it must be from the salt water thing because salt water got into it uh, but I did remove it and repack this uh, spindle you know so you can see the grease on this thing um, I can kind of remove this washer Anyway, so I need to um, remove these lug uh, nuts, uh, wheel nuts, so I can remove the wheel hub. And uh, I need to jack up the um, the bulk trainer. But before I do that, I just want to show you that this uh, impact range, half an inch, is really convenient. Without it, you're not going to, well, it's going to take some effort to remove these lines, but because uh, with this impact range it's so much easier to remove it so let me show you um, okay. too much lower I did a reverse there you go okay. need to go reverse which is this top okay. so I I just did it wrong I was pushing forward I was pushing this down uh, button you really need to you can see how easy it is they to come off. Okay, uh, it's all off. So what 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the trailer and then uh, be able to pull this hub out of uh, out of the, uh, pull the wheel out of the um, out of the trailer and also be able to pull the wheel hub uh, after I remove the tire. Okay, the tire is off the trailer or off the ground, so I'm just going to remove it. Here you go. As you can see, out of there. The first thing that's going to come out is out of there. Or the, or the, what do you call that? Um, the the um, washer. So let me put on the gloves. Because it's very dirty. Come out is going to be the, the washer and the outer bearing you can see there these two will come out first you know so I'm just gonna clean this up and then repack um, these grease okay well, there's no salt water um, went into the outer bearing after I repacked uh, after I repacked it uh, inside of the park okay um, Okay, now this is the this is the inner bearing so I'm gonna try to remove the inner bearing and uh, repack yeah you can see So inner bearing, inner bearing turning. Yeah, so the salt water went into it. So I'm gonna try to remove this uh, inner bearing and inner seal to try to, you know, repack it, clean it. And uh, now I'm just gonna clean this so I can take a measurement of the inner race as well as the outer race. I mean, not inner race, outer race. Inner, inner, inner. Um, the diameter of this thing uh, the, for the inner bearing and the outer bearing. And right, so I'm gonna clean it up. I'm going to use my digital caliber to do the measurement. Okay. While I'm at it, I'm going to try to use the metal brush to brush off his rust and spray some WD-40 just to protect uh, the uh, new leaf springs, okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing.